What's up, everybody? Matt Kajeski here with the Osmo Fantasy Football Channel, giving you some NFL draft reactions. We are going to go through the three biggest deals of the first round. As you can see, I am not in my home apartment, but watch the draft, have all the reactions for you. Before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all other content goes live. We're also brought to you today by Underdog Fantasy. And if you don't know Underdog, all sorts of contests available to you guys. Best ball drafts, live drafts, pick them contests, and you can win up to 20 extra entry fee. Better yet, if you use the promo code OSMO, you're going to get a match deposit bonus up to $100. So make sure to check out Underdog Fantasy. Kicking things off, the three biggest deals. We're going to go to the Detroit Lions first here. And a really interesting pick, maybe not one people view as a steal, but I'll tell you why I think the Jamison Williams pick is so important. They trade away picks 32, 34, and 66 to Minnesota in order to trade up. They also get the 46th pick as a part of that deal, and they select Jamison Williams. And this is really important because Detroit needed to make a move for receiver, and they had to do it here if they wanted to do this. We'd already seen Drake, London, Chris Olave, and Garrett Wilson come off the board. The run had begun, and it was almost over, Jamis Williams being the last big piece of this wide receiver run. As a prospect, he's 6'2", 179, but he's an absolute burner. Did not test at the combine because of the torn ACL, but this is a guy with the best speed in the class when healthy. He was an Alabama transfer this year. I'll bring you to his production. 79 receptions, 1,527 yards, and 15 scores in that Alabama offense. He came over from Ohio State, and he did it mainly on the perimeter, just a 28% slot rate for him. He drops into a Detroit offense, which now has DJ Chark and Amon Ross St. Brown. Pretty good weapons around a player in Jared Goff, and maybe even Detroit uses some draft capital today to take their quarterback of the future. We still have guys like Matt Corral, Sam Howell, and Malik Willis on the board in the NFL draft. So love what Detroit did here, prioritizing receiver and getting whoever ends up playing quarterback an elite weapon. Steal number two, New York Jets' Jermaine Johnson. This was an amazing pick for the Jets. First of all, they had two picks before him get Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson. Love those picks, but then they trade back into the first round to get a player who was widely mocked in the top 10, but slid into the 20s and ends up being pick 26. Now the Jets give up pick 35, 69, and 163. In return, they get 26 for Jermaine Johnson and then 101. Jermaine Johnson, again, widely viewed as a top 10 prospect in this class. He's 6'5, 254, and incredibly athletic. 45840 or dash coming out of Florida State. The guy also had elite production. Now he's transferred twice. He's a JUCO product, goes to Georgia. Can't really crack the defensive line there. No knock against him. We're talking players like Trevon Walker, Devontae Wyatt, Jordan Davis. So he goes to Florida State for his final season, racks up 70 tackles, 18 tackles for loss, 12 sacks, and wins ACC Defensive Player of the Year. This guy's an elite prospect, especially where the Jets got him. Love the fact that they prioritize getting back up into the first round in order to get this guy. He should start and make an impact for them right away. Final steal of the draft, pick number 30. It is Kansas City taking another edge rusher in George Karloftis. Obviously a position of importance here. Karloftis is 6'4", 266, coming out of Purdue. Maybe not as athletic as a guy like Jermaine Johnson, just the 4'7", 7, 7, dash, but he's bigger. And he also jumped 38 inches in the vertical. So maybe the straight line speed, not where you want it, but this dude is explosive. 38-inch vertical is incredible. He's only 21 years old, and he's a three-year starter at Purdue with incredible, incredible production. He had a pass rush win rate of 16% that was better than Jermaine Johnson's, and it was among the tops in this class. When we look at his player comparisons, he compares physically to guys like Emmanuel Agba and Bradley Chubb, and the production is there to match. So the Chiefs falling back a little bit and being able to get him at pick 30, absolutely love that for them on their defensive line. He has a chance to start right away for this team. Let me know who you think the first round steals were in the 2022 NFL draft. I am Matt Gajeski on Twitter at Matt underscore Gajeski. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time.